What's up, everyone? Average Joe back here. More F1 2021 back on the channel. We're here at the Monaco Grand Prix. Um, I'm, I am a complete idiot. I did not record the Spanish Grand Prix. I know I did not get points, so let's get into this. Monaco is a tough track. A proper road race, and in the true meaning of the word. That was how Mr. Monaco, the late great Graham Hill, once described this iconic event. The cars we drive have come a long way in the intervening half century, but still we race on those same public roads beside the Mediterranean Sea. There's no victory more coveted than that of the Monaco Grand Prix. The astonishing Circuit de Monaco is, for all intents and purposes, virtually unchanged since its inaugural race back in 1929. The faster cars of today, though, ensure the 19 corners past the casino and along the seafront remain as thrilling as ever. All right, let's go. I need five lights out. Time to begin this thing. I am starting way in the back. Absolutely dead last. Let's see if I can get some move right up here. Dive below Latifi. Gain a little bit there. Ah, uh, get on the rumble strip. Rumble strip. I have never had success here. I don't think I've even got points here. This track is very difficult. I know right up here there's a good dive bomb location right here. Yep. Gain a couple spots there. Got signs in front of me. And just a traffic jam in this hairpin turn here. Here in the Haas. You know, starting from the bottom. You see what kind of offers I get going into season two. Gotta get through season one, of course. This little chicane, I can cut it a little bit without getting caught. Gain some speed. Gain on signs a little bit. This track is just tough. It's tough. It's it's hard. Especially I don't have a wheel either, so I'm using the, the controller. Although dive bomb on signs. Oh, I think I hit the wall a little bit, but I think we're okay. All right, not a bad start. Gain three spots. Three spots in one lap. Now I gotta work on the ice man in front of me. Where's my drink, Kimmy Raikkonen? Let's see if I can get close up here. Good passing opportunity. Nope. I'm on the mediums. I select for a longer uh, first segment on these tires. And then we'll switch to the softs with like five or six laps to go. See if I can gain some more speed when everyone's got worn down tires. Kind of a ballsy strategy, but hey, we're in a Haas. Got to be ballsy a little bit. Oh, Kimmy, put on the brakes a little bit. I carry so much speed through that chicane. This turn gets me all the time. I always jump the curbs right there. Didn't get a war. Oh, I did get a warning. I was just about to say I did not get a warning. That's all right. A little slap on the wrist. No time penalty. I should be able. I'm close enough to Kimmy. I should be able to get the dive bomb right before the tunnel. There it is. That I think I may have put Kimmy in the wall. I think I put the Iceman out of the race. I think I squeezed him a little too much. Signs, signs, watch out, watch out. Oh, I gotta dive, dive low, dive low. A warning, I had nowhere to go, FIA. All right, finally dealt with signs. 
Now I got Georgia boy in front of me, George Russell and the Williams. Let's see if I can make up some ground on them. I'm slowly catching up to them. Keeping signs at bay. That turn still gets me every single time. Oh, almost clicked the wall there. George is holding steady. Carlos is holding steady behind me. We're just kind of in a holding pattern here. Just making some laps in the streets of Monaco. Or Monte Carlo. I think it's Monte Carlo is the city. Monaco is the country. Cutting some time down on Georgie Boy. Down to 2.2. Tires are starting to go just a little bit. I'm starting to feel it. I'm starting to feel it, especially on acceleration out of the turns. Not as much grip. out here cutting laps. Making some headway on Georgie Boy though. Down to about one and a half seconds. Mediums are really coming in handy here. I'm just flirting with getting some uh, track cutting right there. Track cutting warnings and penalties. Alright, that turn went too bad there. Just out of DRS. Oh, he went to the pits. Oh no, Georgie didn't. I was looking up at standings. I couldn't tell if he went to the pits or not. He's right freaking in front of me. Holy crap. I might have DRS on him on the front stretch. Medium tires are really helping out right now. He's on his soft, so he's probably down to next to nothing. And Georgie's in the pits. I still got DRS though. Up to seventh, but that's a that's a false seven. I'm probably still running what fifteenth, sixteenth, seventeenth. Everyone's just behind me after pitting. Still just kind of making laps. Not much going on. Valtteri passed me. He's got fresh tires. My tires are still kind of holding in, but they're starting to go. Yeah, about 20% on all of them. Here we go. Get some fresh. Probably replacing my nose, too. Scrape the wall a little bit.
Yep, as I thought. I figured I'd be getting a new nose. Wasn't too much damage, though. I guess they felt like they had to replace it. Look after these tires now. We want to finish the race on this compound. Oof. Ten laps on softs. Good luck. Pit stop was a couple laps early because of the scrape. Now I got Latifi in front of me, the Canadian. Maxi boy with the fastest lap. That's my guy. Hopefully he wins the championship this year. We'll see. Give me that DRS. This pace is strong, but be aware your tires need to go the distance. Now nah, we're going out all, all out, buddy. It's Monaco, baby. That's too dangerous to pass right here. Could have died bombed him, but oh, on the bricks. Still no warning. Flirting with it right there on the chicane. Die bomb city on Latifi, and I think I can be reckoned in him. I think I did the same thing to Latifi as I did the Raikkonen. Didn't give him any room. There's been an incident on track resulting in loose debris. Fortunately, the marshals have managed to clear it up in time, and there are no plans for a safety car right now. Oops. Sorry, Nicholas. It's Monaco, baby. You understand? Hopefully I don't have any damage from that. I don't think so. Keeping Latifi there, keeping him at bay. Not too much going on in this race, just kind of in a holding pattern, unfortunately. Doesn't make for the most entertaining video. But hey, we'll get there once we move up to different teams. Coming in 
in Bristol. I think I got some damage. It's not my car is not behaving right. Yeah, I gotta I gotta come in. Time for a new nose. Definitely new tires. These softs will not get it done. Yet another nose change. Just costing Haas all his money. Complete. Go now. Looks like Latifi had a nose change too. might finish right here in 15th if we just stay in a holding pattern like we've been been doing okay gap ahead is 23.3 seconds man three to go that's gonna be a long three laps the car behind is dropping back by about three tenths a lap There's literally been hardly any cars around me, except for the few incidents. The holding pattern, that is Monaco, Monte Carlo. I mean, it's tough. There's only a few places to pass on this track. If there's no one around you, it ain't going to happen. No way I'm catching Bottas. 25 seconds in front of me. So it's me and Latifi battling for 17th. Gap to teammate ahead is 23.9 seconds. Thank you. You can just say he's way the fuck up there. That would have sufficed. Latifi's two behind me, so if I don't royally screw up, we're going to come home in 17th, which is not good. That'll be two straight races without points. I did get some points at Bahrain, so we have some for the season, which is good for Haas. I mean, we're not going to be a host for long. Hopefully, you know, going into season two, we're with one of the top tier teams, or at least the intermediate teams, maybe McLaren or uh, Aston Martin. But I'd like to be Mercedes, Red Bull, or Ferrari, obviously. But, you know, we'll see who does R&D and all that good stuff in the off season and during the season, see who's up there. Put in the comments below, tell me who you want who you want me to sign with going into season two. I know it's a long way away, but I gotta start thinking about it. Final lap in Monaco. Let's not screw up, Joe. This track is so tough. It's so fast, nowhere to pass. I mean, it, it comes down to qualifying. I qualified dead last, so I guess it's good that I gained three spots over the course of the race, but I need a faster car. At least starting in the top five so I can make some moves to at least a podium. Obviously, I want to win, but podium would be second best. Latifi shouldn't be too much of a worry for me. Bodice is already done with the race, so... Look at that, Sergio Perez gets the win. Red Bull. So I clipped the wall a little bit right there. 
And here we go, coming home in 17th in the Monaco Grand Prix. It's all right. We'll see you in Park Ferme. Thank you. Fernando Alonso, driver of the day. I didn't even see him all race. <laughs> I only saw a couple cars. Wants to win, and they've only gone and done it. What a fantastic result here at Monaco. All right, folks. Thank you for checking out this episode F1 2021. Come back to the channel for more. Like, subscribe, comment, and I will catch you guys later. Losing theirs, and that's allowed them to get the best out of the car to maximize the strategy and to stay out of trouble. Red Bull put up an outstanding fight for the front position today, and it's great to see it paid off for them. They do so much for the sport that you can't help but be. Let's have a look then at the driver's standings. It wasn't the best weekend for our championship leader and their advantage at the top.